In this video, I'm gonna show you some of the tough grassy weeds you might see in your lawn. I'm gonna help you identify it, and I'm gonna tell you the products that I'm using to control those in the lawn without killing the grass in the lawn, okay? Anybody can go spray Roundup and kill everything. So let's get started right now. Hopefully you'll learn something. Speaking of spraying Roundup, I actually did this in my own yard and I'm, it's an, another video. Basically, I had some common Bermuda mixed in with my hybrid Bermuda and I'm trying to get rid of the common Bermuda and fill it back in with the hybrid Bermuda. So we'll see, more to come on that later. I think this video is gonna work. I'm gonna walk around, I'm gonna show you some of these weeds. I'm gonna talk to you about the products used, but then I actually have most of these products, if not all of them. And I'll show you the products and, and give you like a recap at the end so that you can understand what you just got through because it may be like drinking from a fire hydrant. It might be a little bit too much information. Sun in my eyes. All right, let's go over here to the first weed. I know where these are. They're in my own yard and I've got them hidden in special spots. So let's get to the first one and uh, show you how to control it. Now I did cut the grass yesterday, but look at this. This one did not get cut. This was, this is, hopefully a lot of you know this, that classic wise stalk, that's Bahia grass. And if you'll pull it up from the stem, I've showed this before, you pull it up, it, it kind of has a pinkish purple tint to it. Like, look at it, look at the color. As soon as my camera zooms in here and, and focuses, it's, it's kind of a purplish, almost like an onion looking color. I don't know, but that's Bahia grass. I don't understand why in the world people make a yard out of that in Florida sometimes. What we use to control that is Metzulfuron, which might come under the product name Manor or MSM Turf. Even at a quarter of an ounce per acre, which is super, super low amount, and people ask me all the time, how do you mix that up in a little handheld? It's hard, you know, hard to mix it in a super small batch like that. But in a tank spray, a quarter ounce per acre. Um, and yeah, there's other products that have metzulfuron in it. So if you don't want to buy just that, you can get blindside. There's a product called Fahrenheit and others that have metzulfuron in it. But the metzulfuron is like super, super cheap. Anyway, you spray it. It will, if it doesn't kill it, it probably at least will suppress this seed head because these things pop up really fast after cutting the grass and it is annoying. All right, well, what about this one? Now this is in a fire pit, but it's actually in the yard too, but I wanted to show you a really mature, large one. What's this weed right here? This is goose grass. Look at the seed head on that thing. And it likes compacted soil and I've tried different products on it. Like I've tried the, the Solitaire and like some of the Quinclorite products, but I think one of the best products you can use on it is Dismiss NXT. And I'm not saying go out and run out and buy all these products if you don't have it. I'm just telling you some of the experience that I had. A lot of times I'll mix Celsius and certainty together and spray all kinds of stuff and it does okay on a lot of weeds. But goosegrass, it, it can be a tough one to kill. But if you have a real problem with it, you might try the Dismiss NXT. It's gonna be easier the earlier you can get it in the life cycle. But this is what it looks like when it becomes a gigantic monster. There's actually a smaller species here. Not I mean, same species, I'm just saying that's goosegrass, but it looks like in the actual yard here in Bermuda grass, it's been mowed, so it's not nearly as large. You spray that with Dismiss NXT, you got a chance to control it. Next up, we've got crabgrass. You see it here in the yard sometimes. Uh, maybe I didn't do a great job spraying the pre-emerge. I've got several acres of grass here and along the edge, got a little crabgrass. Well, with crabgrass, you wanna get ahead of it. If it's grass an annual weed, now I understand some places you might live so far south, it doesn't ever die in the winter. But for us here in Alabama, it's gonna die off when the weather gets cold. And then uh, we can put out a pre-emergent before it germinates the next year, like in January, February in my area, further north, you can wait even later. But I'm using a product called Prodiamine that is going to help and control this and get ahead of it from a pre-emergent standpoint. Already in your lawn like this, uh, the post-emergent products are typically the ones that have quinclorac in it. So you're looking at Solitaire or, or uh, Q-Ball or Drive Accelerate. The Solitaire is gonna have quinclorac mixed with sulfentrazone where the Drive Accelerate or Q-Ball are just uh, mostly just the Q-Ball. I'm sorry, are mostly just the quinclorac for the active ingredient. Now, the bigger it gets, the more difficult it is to control. Uh, and it gets late in the life cycle, it's a little bit easier to control, but by then you might just wait and let the winter kill it off. But if you got a little small one like that, you got a chance to, to zap it. Also, let's say you didn't get your pre-emergent out before it germinated, right after it germinates, you might go with Dimension, um, which has the ability to, to control small crabgrass as well. So sometimes that's what people 
do for another option. Now, if you're in a lawn care business like me, you'll realize that a lot of people, when they have grassy weeds in their yard, everything's crabgrass. I got crabgrass, here's crabgrass. You go out there and it, it's not always crabgrass. As a matter of fact, it's probably most of the time not crabgrass, but people just in general think that any grassy weed is crabgrass. Now, let me say this. If you need some help just understanding broad categories, Try to put weeds in three categories at least. I mean, there's more than three categories. You can put them in cool season weeds, warm season weeds, things like that. But let's just talk about sedges, broadleaf weeds, and grassy weeds. So sedges are like nut sedge, kalinga, things like that. And you're gonna use a sedge product for those. Broadleaf weeds are all the broadleaf weeds, the dandelions, the clover, things like that. And then you got the grassy weeds, which sometimes are the, the difficult ones to control. Sedges can be difficult. Uh, to control as well. So oftentimes I might mix multiple herbicides together so that I can be effective on all three of those categories. That's why I talked about mixing Celsius and certainty to be able to really touch on all three of those categories. It may not zap every weed in the yard, but it's gonna have some effectiveness on most of them. Of course, that would be a combination you just wanna use in warm season lines, not cool season lines. The next weed I wanna show you is called annual foxtail. When it puts up a seed head, it looks like a foxtail, but you can recognize that even before then, it's got this kind of reddish center to it. Let me see if I can find a, a different species over here. It's not quite as, I say species, I'm sorry, I keep saying that, it's wrong. Just a different plant, you know, same species, different plant. You see that, you see how red it is in the center and the plant itself has kind of a bluish green tint to it. And the Celsius Certainty Combo does work really well on this. The Quinclorac products also give you some control, but I feel like when I spray Celsius and Certainty on annual foxtail, I get really good control on that particular weed. Now what about this weed, grassy weed? It kind of looks a little bit like centipede grass, but when you see them side by side, they're, they're not that difficult to recognize. And when you see the seed head, I'm glad we got to see this today. You see the seed head here, it has that Y and it also has one below the Y, just coming off one side, okay? So it's got the Y and then a kicker coming off one side. And that's carpet grass. But you see it, it runs and spreads. And I wanna show you the, the product for it is uh, Celsius does great on carpet grass in a warm season lawn. Let me show you, I actually sprayed some with Celsius. Now this was sprayed not too long ago and you can see it's not dead yet, but it is dying out and it's turning yellow. It may take a little while, but this is carpet grass that has already been sprayed with Celsius. And look at this, look at this carpet grass here. This is uh, even further along in the damage. And you see that the Bermuda grass in there is still nice and green where it's doing a number on the carpet grass. And that's what we're going for. That's the uh, whole idea of a selective herbicide. Kill the plant that's not desired without hurting the desirable turf grass. What about this one? Kind of a dull, flat finish. Unfortunately, this one don't have a seed head because of, of cutting the grass, but this is Dallas grass, and it can get a lot bigger than this. In the summer, it just grows like an absolute monster. Um, it, it's tough to control, honestly. In Bermuda lawn, you, uh, the, the greatest product that's unfortunately not legal is MSMA. It's not <clears throat> legal to be used on residential properties. But in hot weather, with multiple applications, you can knock it out I'm using that. Without that product, there's a few options. In a Bermuda lawn, again, you might can spray it with glyphosate during the winter months. Maybe you get a few warm days in the winter. The Bermuda is mostly dormant or all the way dormant and you spray. And I still wouldn't just go crazy but you're still I'm trying to, to cover the douse grass, which hopefully have some green in it at that time. That's actually on the label for dormant Bermuda grass. You can spray it with glyphosate. That does work, but even that's not a perfect solution. Another thing, like a product like Tribute Total, you can spray it, uh, I think they say twice in the fall and then again in the spring. So let's say you put methylated seed oil with your Tribute Total, spray it in October, spray it again in November, come back, spray it again the following March. It's very difficult to control this weed, but just understand your fall is probably your best opportunity in spring, um, a second best opportunity. And then of course you can pound it over the winter with glyphosate in a dormant Bermuda lawn. Then the summer without MSMA, it's going to be very difficult to control Dallas grass in the lawn. And just so we're not confused, you see these are not grassy weeds. These are sedges. This is not sedge. And sedges have edges, kind of a triangular stem is what they're known for. 
Um, I know it looks kind of grassy weed, but that's a sedge. So you're going to need a sedge product like Pro Sedge, Solero, Certainty, something like that to help you with your sedges. But like I said before, there's some combination products like Tribute Total is used on Bermuda and Zoysia lines that can work on a lot of things. Now it's kind of expensive, but I mix Celsius and Certainty. You, you get sedges, grass weeds, broadleaf weeds, um, things like that. Sometimes I might mix change up with Pro Sedge or change up with Certainty or change up with Solero. The change up's going to do great on the broadleaf weeds. The other uh, Solero can help you with the grassy weeds. Now the grassy weeds, hopefully with your pre-emergent, you can get ahead of the annual grassy weeds and they're not going to be uh, as much of a problem. And this is not all the grassy weeds, you know, there's things like poa annual and things like that. They're just a uh, cool season grassy weed. Fortunately, it's hot right now and, uh, and, and unfortunately maybe, but for the sake of the poa, it's died out from the heat. So I can't show you that one in this video. Let me go over the products with you one more time, show you some of these products and give you just a quick review as we wrap up. I gotta walk over here and get one product that, to show you that we uh, did talk about. But while I'm walking, I wanna talk to you about the 2024 Lawn Care Life Conference coming up. I've had, this will be my fourth conference host and this one's February 23rd and 24th uh, in Springville, Alabama. Go to lawncarelife.com. There's a link that says conference and you can get the details. Registration is $197 for the early bird. That includes your meals. It's a Friday night and Saturday. I got a lot of people coming and a lot of great speakers, so excited about that. Also, if you wanna get a weed control and fertilization like me, you can go to lawncarelife.com and check out the Weed Control and Fertilization Academy. There's pricing charts, there's mosquito spraying academy, a lot of video courses that could be helpful for you there. All right, I think we covered about six grassy weeds today, so let's review some of the products and show them what they look like. Dismiss NXT, mentioned that one particularly on goose grass. Certainty is a sedge product, but also works on grassy weeds. Like if you get a cool season grass in your warm season lawn, like ryegrass or fescue clumps, Certainty can work on that. Um, again, I mentioned mixing it with Celsius. Certainty is also a good sage product on Kalinga and nut sage. Blindside, that's got the Metzulfuron in it. I use Blindside a lot on Kalinga, um, but also, as mentioned in this video, can be helpful with Bahia grass. There's a manor over here, which is the Metzulfuron. Blindside has Metzulfuron in it. Again, manor is gonna be hard to mix in a really small batch. Blindside, much easier to mix, but also a more costly product. Celsius, uh, very good just general product for warm season lawns that were broadleaf weeds as well as some grassy weeds and also has some effectiveness on Kalinga. Cue ball, this is one of the examples of the products that have quinclorac in it and like the solitaire is gonna have quinclorac and sulfitures on where cue ball is just the quinclorac. Uh, that's not the only thing in it, but I mean, that's the, the main active ingredient. So this is gonna be a post-emergent for crabgrass. And on all these, I'm pretty much adding this non-ionic um, surfactant to help these products be more effective. So most of these, well, with the exception of maybe man or I'm not usually mixing in a tank sprayer. Sometimes cue ball too. I might put that in a tank sprayer um, like my big Graham spray rig. But a lot of these I'm just going to mix in a little two gallon handheld like this or my backpack sprayers are on the other side of my truck. Uh, so these are products I'm using a lot to control these grassy weeds. Hope the video has been helpful. Leave me a comment. If you haven't done so, subscribe to the channel and we'll see you guys in the next video.